To write the formula for aluminum sulfide, we go to the periodic table and we look up aluminum, and the element symbol is Al, and then sulfide, we're talking about sulfur on the periodic table, that's S. Aluminum, that's a metal, then sulfur, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. For ionic compounds, we need to take into account the ionic charge. Aluminum, that has an ionic charge of 3 plus. Sulfur has an ionic charge of 2 minus. So these need to add up to zero, to have a net charge of zero, to be a neutral compound, like aluminum sulfide here. We can change the subscripts here to get the net charge for the compound to be zero. And we can use something called the crisscross method to make that pretty easy. We can take the 2, move it down here, the 3, move it over here. Then we can get rid of these charges up here. And that's the formula for aluminum sulfide, Al2S3. But let's check our work just to make sure. So aluminum, that was 3 plus, and then sulfur 2 minus. So we have three sulfur atoms, each one's 2 minus, so 3 times the 2 minus, minus 6 for the sulfur. The aluminum, we have two aluminum atoms, each one's 3 plus, 2 times the 3 plus, get a plus 6 over here. So plus 6, minus 6, that adds up to 0. So this is the correct formula for aluminum sulfide, Al2S3, just like we found with the crisscross method. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.